This is the cylinder head back from after getting surfaced or skimmed or whatever you want to call it. So six thousandths of an inch had to be taken off it. And sure enough, the man that was doing the machine work did say it was a bit high there and a bit high there and a high there. So that would tie in with our leaking problem in or around that corner. So what I'm going to do now, since this was probably covered in iron filings and there's still a bit of oil in these push rod tubes, I'm going to put this into the parts cleaner and I'm going to clean out all of them and I'm going to give everything a good blow out then with uh, an air gun. So the handiest thing to do is to get your toothbrush and give it a good run up and down in those and this then will shoot out some diesel and kerosene mix. So that's my plan for this cylinder head to get it, get those push rod tubes clean just to make sure there's no iron filings in them. Once again, head gasket cleaned, put back on, give the boards a quick hoover out just in case any dust went down. Cleaned up all the gasket surface then with Scotch Bright and um, which is this green stuff here with some uh, carb cleaner, it's great stuff and it evaporates. So, this was the area that was given bother. So, I'm just uh, sitting the gasket, there's a bit of movement in the gasket, so I'm sitting it just a little bit over there just to help hopefully seal it. So, the head is just getting its final little rub now with carb cleaner and some cloths. And instead of getting blown out with an air gun, all of these push rod tubes were washed and cleaned with with um, paper. So this the next step then is will be just to drop it down and torque it down and get that cooling system fitted ASAP and get a drop of water put in and see if it's still doing what it was doing. And hopefully it's not. After six tau ta being taken off this, it should push the the gas and press it a bit more level and seal. So we wait and see. So this is as far as I've got this evening, putting it back together, nearly just about fully put back together. I just put on the heat shield, I know I didn't need to, but if I get it running, I want to get it on, running on kerosene and TVO like fairly quickly so I can get that head gasket good and warm and get it to start taking uh, shape, get it to where it needs to be to help seal it. So still got to put in water and fuel into it so it's literally nearly fully back i didn't put all the nuts and bolts in the fuel tank just to save time it's no need it'll probably have to come off it'll have to come off soon for a retorque of the head anyway so i didn't want to put water in it yet either but just in case it starts it is leaking i don't want it running into the engine oil so i'll do that tomorrow because i need to keep an eye on that so that's as far as we've got so far